What up, it's your boy Wave Tech from Wave Tech Beats. Um, I'm going to hit you with this tutorial about snare rolls, uh, hi-hat rolls, tom rolls, any type of drum roll to help enhance your beat. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I got an instance of FL already up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up. As you can see, well, here's what I'll do. Let's make it simple. Let's let's clear all of this out. All right. What I did was I'm going to go to the step sequencer. I already have um, the sound that I want to use right here. Got it from the browser, which is part of the files that I have stored in FL Studio. So that's the sound that I got. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here. Go to fill each two steps. So what that did was it, is it filled every two steps in the pattern from the step sequence. Now, in order for me to see that, I'm going to right click here again, again. And what I did was I went back to track me because I had, I, I had it up and I needed to redo it. So here we go. Right click, send to piano row. And this is what has happened. So, you got, you see it, it's, it's on the piano roll, as you can see, I'm hitting the keyboard, that's F5, I mean C5, so basically what I need to do is, is I need to figure out, do I want it to just go just like this, which is what you can do, but that's just bland. What you, what I like to do is, and it, it you know, it enhances the beats, helps you um, make it fuller, leads into the next uh, sound that's available that you're going to be using. As you can see, we'll get into chords later, but uh, I'm going to take it up to G5 because I'm going to start high and work its way down. So I'm going to take this up and I'm going to bring this one up with it. All right. So now I got G5. F, F5. So I'm going to move this up to F5. Move that up to F5. So now I got this here. Okay. But I also want to bring this up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here. And then I'll put that there. You can see where I'm dropping them at. And just to be cool about this. Alright. Now you see. Here's what it sounds like. It's still bland. But you can see it's descending. So. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit the selector. I'm going to select. This one here, this one, and this one. All right, so now I'm going to go back to my pencil tool. I got my pencil tool. Um, I got those selected. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go into my tool section. Now, as you can see, all the information is right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit chop. Now, as you can see that it chopped the ones that I've selected in hands, okay? Over here is how you can chop it. Uh, right now, looks like it's probably at half, but if I move this up, look what happens, all right? It's just two. But if I bring this down and bring it back down, look how much it chopped it up, all right? So, I tell you what. I think what I'm going to do is leave it just like that. Now here's what it sounds like. Alright. Now, that's cool. Or, I could bring it down a little more. Let you hear it like this. To me, that's too much. So I'm going to take it back up to there. 
I'm going to accept it here. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my selector. I'm going to select this on the shift bar. On select that one, that one, that one, and that one. Now, I'm going to grab this with the pencil tool and move it back just like that. All right. So now, what I have here is, uh, when I play it, okay, now, to get creative, th this is basically how you make snare rolls, but to get creative, you can now take and move this one, see how you got the, the four arrows, now I can take, click it, drag it back to there. And leave that there. Grab this one. And bring that back. I can right click on that one. And hit it with you. Basically what it is. Is it determines how you want your sound to be. I mean, nobody can tell you how you want your sound, how you want to make your music, make your quality music, but it's your music. Once again, like I said, I'm just doing a tutorial to show you how we chop up uh, sounds and wave tech beats and with the, the tempo, whatever you chop it up, put it in your song, it's a tempo it's going to be. On my next tutorial, i show you how we stack drums so you can learn how to stack your toms, your kicks, snares, claps, all of that to make those drums sound more fuller and hit you with the, some of those Dre tracks. So once again, like I said, you can always... That's how it's done. Like I said, check out your boy Wave Tech Beats. Uh, Wave Tech at wavetechbeats.wix.com backslash forward slash Wave Tech Beats. Until then, I'm a holler at you.